Plasma cell membranes are extremely pliable structures made of a phospholipid bilayer that separates the inside of the cell from the outside. And as you can see here, the membrane isn't rigid, it's fluid. And that's an important point to remember. Now, let's break down its structure and composition. The phospholipid bilayer. Each phospholipid has two main parts, a hydrophilic or water-loving head and two hydrophobic or water-repelling fatty acid tails. The head contains a negatively charged phosphate group, and it readily interacts with the watery environments inside and outside the cell. Meanwhile, the tails avoid water, pointing inward, shielding themselves from the fluids. The fatty acid tails can be either saturated or unsaturated, and this mix is key. It creates kinks and spaces between the molecules, keeping the membrane flexible instead of rigid. Because of this dual nature, a polar head and nonpolar tails, phospholipids are called amphipathic molecules. This structure gives the membrane one of its most important properties, selective permeability. In simple terms, it lets some substances through and blocks others. Small nonpolar molecules like oxygen and carbon dioxide move across easily. Lipid-soluble substances too. But larger or charged molecules, like glucose and ions, can't pass on their own. They need special transport mechanisms, mainly handled by integral membrane proteins. The membrane isn't just made of phospholipids, it's also packed with cholesterol molecules. These molecules slot themselves between phospholipids, acting as stabilizers, keeping the membrane from becoming too rigid and cold or too fluid in heat. Now, onto membrane proteins. They come in two main types. Integral proteins, embedded within the bilayer, and peripheral proteins, attached to the membrane's surface. Integral proteins include channel or transport proteins, allowing specific molecules like ions to cross the membrane. Receptors, which bind to molecules outside the cell and trigger internal signaling cascades, like second messenger systems. Glycoproteins, which have carbohydrate groups attached. These help with cell-to-cell -cell recognition and communication. A major structure involving glycoproteins is the glycocalyx, a sticky meshwork outside the cell. It plays roles in cell binding, hormone reception, and nutrient breakdown near the cell surface. Peripheral proteins, on the other hand, sit on either side of the membrane. They often perform specialized tasks, like digestive enzymes in the intestinal tract. And don't worry, I've got a whole video coming up diving even deeper into membrane proteins, so stay tuned.